They didn't have a wheel bearing to change on this car like I said yesterday. <laughs> That's gonna be fun, but perhaps next year I'll have a garage to work in. But we'll see. I gotta get this thing in here. This handle pulls out all the time. There we go. Right here. Tighten that up. I'll have to open, I guess. Good enough right there. These wheel bearings, you need a special tool, a press to get them apart. But I have just that tool. So hopefully it's not too, too bad. I'm gonna tighten that wheel up to see how loose that wheel bearing is. Yeah, look at that. That's that wheel bearing. Now it wheel's tight. Definitely to do for a new one. I need an adapter for this, Heather. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I brought these two back, Heather. Okay. This one here goes on here. This will go on here. That is the one. <laughs> chorus line. Hey? The chorus line is here. Oh yeah.
shouldn't do that. We need to hang on the on the weight of the hose. I shouldn't be doing this, but maybe it'll stay there. There we go. Maybe that'll help. We're gonna start clock again. Just as I thought. That goes in here. Now to get this ball joint loose, all I do is just hammer on the casting right here. <coughs> Heather, I need you to go turn the steering the other way if you don't mind. Please and thank you. You don't have to start it though. I have to turn the. I have to turn it on. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's right. get this hub off but this tool will not do it because none of these will fit around large enough to pull that out now I know you're supposed to use a slide hammer on here but I don't have one this this way Like that. That's kind of what I was hoping for. But one never knows if it's going to go that easy, though, right? I'm not getting it back on. That's what that's for. That'll push it right on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this tool presses it right back on. You take one of these and you put them in the back. <laughs> At least six of them. That got to be like a monthly ordeal. <laughs> Should have sparked up and got a, a premium one or something. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of times, I don't know if I had ABS, probably not. No. But a lot of them, if you, if the ground goes on the ABS, it'll end up taking your bearing out because it tries to ground through your wheel bearing. Well, I mean, it says the uh, alignment. 
Oh, oh, Joe. Okay. <laughs> so now, I gotta take that snap ring out of there now. Turns out my snap ring pliers aren't large enough to take this off. So it's back to the old fashioned way. Which I'm sure most of you have probably all done. There we go. And it's out. It's a large snap ring. Now, to get the right one that goes in the back, it has to be a hollow one. This one, no, it's gotta be a little larger than that, I think. Probably this one here. I'll get the bearing and I'll know. So this is what the bearing looks like here. This has to push on the outer ring. So it's this one. That's the one I need. Fits perfectly. And since I have not used this before, I'm going to put some white grease on it. Just so I don't wreck the threads on it too badly. It might do. I think it will do. That's the one I'm going to use. And then I want this ring right here. There we go. And then if I have to, I'll use this little spacer here. on, find the right socket for that, thread that off. Could be this one. It's probably the one I used to take that off originally. It's probably this one here. Yes it is. Does that feel like it's working better? Oh yeah, it'll work. Just these cheap ratchets. Not the best. Oh, were those the ones from... Um... North Cobalt Flea Market. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to hold that on the back for you? What's that, Heather? Oh, would you, do you want me to hold it on the back for you? No. Okay. Okay, right, so I gotta switch this now. Because what happens is, the nut goes inside, mm -hmm. and then it won't work anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, I better do it this way, right?
This is where it gets interesting. You're in there. I'm sorry. Fun stuff. So you see that bearing is just about out. Done. Done like dinner. That one's out. Clean this up, put a little bit of oil, push the other one back in. Not too hardy. Eh? Hmm? No. <laughs> well, it wasn't hard for me because I really didn't have to do anything, but it looked like it wasn't that easy. No, it wasn't too bad, babe, really. That's good. It was yeah. pretty easy. All right. I could tap it in, but I'm not going to. Okay. Um, what I need is a large one to go on the back, I think, say, like, um, uh, let me see, what can I put in the back here? Which one? That one and then this one here, this one here, this one here. This is the one I'm going to want to use right here. Right here. That'll go in the back. Like this. And then I'm going to want to use this one here probably, right? 
let's use this one. That one there. Can't get away with that yet. That large nut. What did I do with that large nut for the tool here? Right here. I'll put a little more of this on here though. And then that pushes it in there. Yep, it does. Cool. Like really, I could tap it in a little ways. Yeah. Like this here, watch. To get it started. Uh huh. So that would drive it all the way in. See? See it going? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And it's hitting on the outer part of the bearing, so it won't hurt anything. Right. If I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna do it with this here. See it going in? That's in. Cool. So, didn't hurt a thing. This goes in here. That goes here. 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 That goes there. I'm going to need this again, though. For a tool. Mm -hmm. that's good. So that's what the old bearing was like. It was beat, but now I have to take, I have to get, oh, where's that hub? Right here. See, I have to get the bearing off this now, the bearing race. So for that, I have to go up to the old house, folks. I have to get this part off right here. All right, well, I got the old piece of the bearing off just fine. So now, I'm gonna take that in. I'm gonna take that down there. I'm gonna press that in. Not too much more to go. And our wheel bearing replacement is just about done. I'm gonna tap this in a little wee bit here, just to get it started. Okay, now. What did I use in the back again? I don't remember. <laughs> That's too big. It's probably one of these. It was that one, in fact. And then I think I used this one here and this. and that goes on there like that. And this goes in here to thread that in to push that on. Going in just 
just that easy, brother. Good. Ooh, ooh, don't hit the fender. Do what? No. Now, what this don't do, that axle will draw it in the rest of the way. in there. Good. It's uh, it'll quieten up once I get it tightened all the way up in there. Mm -hmm. Be tough to do this job without this tool. Not something they want to do without it. I know I'll be using this tool again tomorrow because I have the other bearing on order, so. Yeah. But. I'm gonna. Grease it. Yeah, before I put her away. There we go. Do you want me to open the trunk? So, do you want to put the stuff in the trunk since you're using it again tomorrow? I'm going to put it right in the basement. Okay. That's exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm not done yet, though. Now, we still got a little bit more to go on here. Okay. We still have to put all this back together. Yeah, no, I know, but I thought you were done with that. This has to get pushed into here, back into the spline. parts in now I gotta push this down and get the ball joint in. you to turn the steering wheel all the way this way, Heather, please? Yep. Sounds like the upper strut bushings are sticky, folks. It's good. Thank you. That's good, Heather. I don't have to. Okay. No, you won't have to hold it. It should stay right there. Okay. With any luck, this should thread right up. And if it don't, I just have to push a little bit of pressure up here just to hold it, and it'll thread right in. This is the lower ball joint I'm doing up now. You have to put a jack under there to hold that. To keep it from turning. I shouldn't have to though this time. It's going now.
and we're gonna test dry this. See how much noise it makes. Cool. What do you think, Heather? I like it. This is the ball joint we put on in the spring that yeah. I'm doing up now. When you first got the car, remember? I remember, yeah. Gonna make sure these brakes are sliding as well, so they're not, I wanna make sure they're not stuck. Pulling that axle through now. It's really only a few hours job out here doing this. It's not a big deal, really. If you don't mind it. But if you don't like the snow. Or the cold. What's that? Or the cold. <laughs> yeah. Good enough. Now I just get a hammer and I bend this over. You see this, Heather? So it don't turn, so don't unthread again. See this little thing here? I just hammer this this little thing in here so the nut don't back off again on me. See that? That locks the nut in. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Not too bad, eh? What takes wheel bearings out? It's going in and out of that driveway this winter. That's what happened to it. And I should have known that. I, you know, I shouldn't have been driving in and out of that muddy driveway. Because that's the one thing that destroys wheel bearings quickly. Make sure there's no snow in there because these bolt on. With these little Phillips head screws. I don't put them on too tight either. I hate it when they're too tight and then you can't get them back off. And end up stripping or busting. I always put a little grease on them. If I never see I'd use it, but Fresh out, man, fresh out. Now these. <laughs> these large nuts here, they go in now. A little bit of white grease on there too, so don't seize up on them. So I'm gonna take those off later when I want to. Thread it in. Number two, thread it in.
I don't tighten these up super, super tight. They don't have to be. Now, what I want you to do, Heather? Yep. Let's go step on that brake if you don't mind. Okay. When I ask you to, tar start it up. Turn the wheel straight too as you're at it, okay, babe? Okay, so start you don't up mind? and then turn the wheel. Turn the wheel straight, yep. And then put my foot on the brake? Yeah, but start it up though. I want to make sure the brakes aren't going to be sticky. Put on the brake. Let off. Your foot off the brake. It's off the brake now. Yeah, that's good. They're not sticky at all. On the brake. Foot off the brake. They're good. They're not stuck. The slides are all good, so we are good, Heather. Good. This I'll take in the basement as well and let it dry out for the night. How does that sound? Okay. So. All these little tools, do you want to just put them in the back for now since we're using them tomorrow? Or do you want to everything yes. in the basement? No, we'll put them in the back for, for now. But these big kits, though, they'll go in the house. Right. If any you don't mind. I don't mind. I need that wheel. Oh, I have the wheel nuts in there, which I don't want to lose either. I always put the wheel nuts back in there. Oh, do you have the, um, the, uh, yeah. the socket for putting Oh, yes. Put the wheel on? on? Yep. Okay, I'm going to bring these down to the basement. Okay, okay, thanks. Can you put your glasses on the, the bearing box, okay? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to change the other wheel bearing tomorrow, folks. Just because the other one I think is bad as well, but we're going to take it for a drive. We're going to see how quiet this is tonight. I really love these little power tools like this. Since Tony and his wife sent us this, it's pretty much all I use now. And there's no more play on that wheel at all. Now this thing don't put it nearly tight as, as, as tight as it's supposed to be, of course. But I will tighten it up now once it's down. That jack I've had for a long time, folks. These will go in the house as well, except this. I will take it for a drive and then I'll come back and I'll retorque the, the wheel.